it. All right. Please work. Kind of. Yes. Satellite is down. I am impressed. That was most resourceful. Oh. Welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. I thought that would be a, a good point to say where we are, what we're going to do. Um, the biggest thing is, unlike before, where I started again at scratch twice because we had... Ooh, hello, Marguerite. All right, Altera. You win this round. Come find me at my greenhouse. I'm about a kilometer east of your position up on an iceberg. I have a present for you. I'll come by if I have time. <laughs> Sure, whatever. If you have time for me in your busy social calendar. I like Marguerite, by the way. So, uh, <clears throat> one thing with this that I'm doing differently is, uh, like I said, and like starting at the beginning, I've had two incidents of playing the game and it getting either rewritten or changed or saying, like, one of my old save files was completely old, and that's why it took so long to kind of get back into this was, <laughs> oop, just fall damage, was to essentially kind of wait till the game was either fully done or they hadn't were going to make any more changes or anything like that that were so tremendous like in the case of story ooh, I, i've been here oh sulfur pits um one of the biggest things was they like they changed the voice actors they changed the plot like in the case of i am you know trying to see why my sister's dead while in the original, my the sister was still alive on Altera base, da 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 da. I was here for research. The voice actors were also different at that time. What? You. Huh. Oh. I bet you this is for. Yes, okay, I know what that is for. Never mind. Either way, that's why I kind of was just like, you know what? If we're going to do this, we're going to do this, you know, a little farther into the story. Not really that far. All that was was essentially catch you up. We landed here during a storm, a meteor storm. Got, you know, situated, built a base. I'm going to go over that in a second, actually. There's going to be a little part after this uh, going over the base. And as you can see, I have bases and markers and what the colors are and everything. Um, I have a sea truck. I have the uh, bronze suit. So everything that I had before, essentially, I have again. A little less and a little more, depends on what. I'll kind of go over each of those. And um, then she landed, met Marguerite, who, you know, is on this island. And then we go to her little base and she tells us, hey, do the test module. So that's it. it really not far into the game whatsoever. That takes minutes to do really the most. Um, here, let me. Not far at all. It takes pretty much minutes to do. It doesn't really take long to do at all. It's fairly early on. All you have to do is parallel processing unit. Pretty easy. Gold, silver, table coral. All around this island. Testing unit. Again, titanium, lead, copper wire. It is the easiest things. So that's why I'm like, I'm not going to run them three times to the same beginning. Um, I think it's just right. Ooh, what is this? Blue uh, scrub brush? Okay. What a name. No, I thought it was going to say shrub, and then it said scrub. Uh, ooh, penguins. Penguins. Um, hello. If I had a fish, I would feed it to you. Um, shoot, my sheep over there. So it, that's essentially what I want to do. Get us started, get us rolling, and we're going to actually play some Nautica. Eerie music. Um, but properly this time. I want to actually play it fully done, get it done, but not like, oh, I, I got to get it done. I want to get it done and rush it. No, I'm still going to play it properly. That's, again, what I was doing here. And how you're going to see the base. I was just relaxing playing the game. As you can see, we've got a little bit of a, a sea truck as well. I've painted it as well. Um, it's named Kaya. And then the prawn suit's name is Steve. So, yeah. That's um, the beginning. That's our intro. Welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. I'm getting a call from you Alan. trust Altera. No. Neither do you. But your sister was Altera. My sister was my sister. She worked for Altera. My people do not perceive a difference. We are what we work for. Well, Sam wasn't. I should have guessed Altera would find a way to clip Sam's wings like I knew they'd do to mine. I tried to warn her, and she was stubborn, just like me. Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to be so different from her. Scrappier. 
faster, way less play by the rules. Yes. Was Sam working in the best interest of all terror? Yes, but they definitely didn't think so. We believe that individuals may operate in the best interest of the collective or against the best interest of the collective. There is no in-between to us. So you always saw eye to eye on absolutely everything with your network? No. I sense there's more to this story. And more to your sister's story as well. That's fine. Change the subject. We'll come back to it later. All right. Well, there you go. Either way, I just really quick. We, oop. Hit a boomerang fish. Before we got to the base, Alan, so having to call. So I'll see you back at the base. So now to show you the base after the test module. That was kind of just to get into something uh, for a first episode to kind of let you know where we're at. This is where I'm deciding to start. If you've been around on the channel a decent while, or if you're new, you know what? You might have not seen it. Um, I've tried to do some Nautica Below Zero twice. The first time, it was still fairly early on. I thought the game was, like, done. But it was still even the original voice actors and old plot. Like, we still had our sister was alive and everything. She was up on a station talking to us. It was the old plot and the old voice actors, like I said. Um, so we had a whole little different thing going. And I think Alan was a bit sassier then, too. Um... So you might want to watch that. The first series was the really old one, like I said, with all that, like all the older things that they decided to go differently on. Second part was more of this line. It was fairly developed, but I know there were certain things different, like you're going to see around the base. Um, that, like, well, actually, just look at it right now. Um, there's the sea truck. That's the little station that they've added in the game within the last month or so. Like, I think I saw an update on Steam and it said a month ago. So they're still adding stuff in the below zero. So that's why I never know, like, oh, is the game done? Is it da-da-da-da-da-da? Um, so this time, I'm going to pretty much get as far as I think I can go and not drop it. But unlike the very Jimmy Neutron-esque Professor Calamitous leaving everything half done, which there is a lot of series. If you saw the trailer that I put out a few months ago, yes, a few months ago, life is just that way. Um, so yeah, we're going to try and get series done not like forcing it that's why i was all of a sudden sitting there and like i want to play subnautica and get things done so i thought let's do the test let module launch let's do that and everything that happened a minute ago and now we're gonna do this and i'm gonna show you around the base along with how i've been playing it differently slightly so either way it's a standard base when you walk in it used to be originally just a little tunnel here fabricator and you know a bed which I'm going to use really quick because it's nighttime. And, you know, let's get a day. Let's. I like natural light, even in the ocean. So, however, you know, you take a little nap for a little while. There we go. Look at that. Blue sea, everything. So, all right. So, this is the uh, room. Uh, I, there's a little photo on here from, you would have seen this again in the second part. That photo frame was from one of the bases. Um, pretty sure that was, which base was that? There are two bases that were original markers. And I guess this is how I'll show you how I do the beacons and everything. Um, what I'm using and what the colors are, so you get the no. Red beacons, if I've marked them red, I mean, I really have no use for them anymore. If they're needed, I can just refer to them and more than likely, again, they're marked red, they stand out. Blue is something I've created, like a base or a prawn suit or the sea truck. Prawn suit's name is Steve, sea truck is Kaya. And then the base is just base. Um, so there's not very, really many blue ones. There are some blue ones I've turned off, like the sea truck modules and everything like that. And then green, whether I've placed it like a Mercury 2, which I've placed the parts of the Mercury 2, Mercury 2 starboard, bow, stern, stuff like that. Um, I also have some of them turned off. Green means objective. Like it's part of a story or part of like something that's built into the world already. That is a new objective. So like Marguerite's base. If I ever want to find the base that she has all the way down there, which we've seen again in the other two times, we know where it is. It's a very common, like, first place to go to. So, either way, I've been placing more beacons down. The issue is you can't really search through this list. And what's this do? Oh, no. I shouldn't have hit that button. Give me a minute. All right. So, I think we're good there. I've turned some of them on and off. I'll notice as we go. Um, So, the rest of the base, we've got some of our storage units here. A coffee machine that I haven't got to work yet i forget how you do it i think you have to put water in which i'm always low on anyway um a little modification station we do already have the thermal blade the ultra high swim fins 
the synthetic fiber, I've only had one from the Mercury 2. I only found one in one of the containers, so I still haven't found... Is it the ribbon plant? It's the... Whatever you use to make the synthetic fiber, I haven't found. So I can't make more synthetic fiber, so I'm a little stuck. And then we haven't made a death module Mark III. I haven't found any of those there. Oh, well, Plasteel, yeah, but no. I think I maybe found one nickel ore. It was just lying around by Marguerite's house. And then prawn suit depth. No, I also haven't. Again, no nickel ore. And then yeah, prawn suit. Same thing. Same boat. Um. All right. What else? So I guess here's how we do it from the entrance. We go in. I'll show you off this little cool thing. I like glass, by the way. They're able to show off. There's our little portable. Or, uh, you no know, vehicle creator. Forget the name of it. Sorry. Um. Here's Kaya. We got some cameras in here to show you uh the angles. So. The ship essentially i'll show it to you in a second here but you can walk into your uh, sea truck it's cool whatever modules you have you can now still go into so if you have stuff in the lockers or if you want to use the fabricator over here you can you can also name the lockers all of them even the one at the bottom they can be named um let me show you really quick though how it works it'll be really simple the whole area floods back up it's really cool though i thought this was neat so it's not just using a moon pool i hit a fish uh I'll grab you and you know what let me grab you really quick so it's not gone to waste sorry fish you so happen to be in the wrong spot at the wrong time uh all right oh hello sorry um oop, there we go. oh and just like normal you'll go in and kind of have to line it up you will hit the sides a bit sometimes it takes over and it repairs and recharges just like well, normal moon pool I like it. It's something specific for the sea truck, which is cool. Um, and again, this is where you'll change the colors and everything like that. Uh, the other wing, which you can still also access from that side, uh, will be around here. Again, as much glass as I can. Can't put glass there. I think you can. I haven't reinforced that. I only reinforced these sides, and I plan on putting glass here. But quartz has been such a pain. I constantly run out of quartz because you'll see here's a big room. All right, I've got this little aquarium that reminds me. Let me drop off the spinnerfish here. There he goes. Have fun, spinnerfish. Um, I had to move an extra locker in here because I ran out of space over there. And this is my tool cabinet. It normally has batteries um, and anything. Oh, I should probably hook dead fish. Um, so my batteries, my habitat builder, I normally empty those and leave full batteries in here so I could quickly grab them, flip them out, and I'll probably make another one so I don't have to keep running between them. But, you know, my battery charger will be right there. Ooh. Oh, cured. You know what? Let's make it cured. I have extra salt because uh, you might have seen in the background over there. I have a water purifier. Okay. So H2. There we go. Boom. Cured. Uh, we got a water purifier in here so it shoots out salt like crazy. Um, and Oh, yeah. And a DJ booth. So I don't know if this is you know, copyright, so I'm just gonna quickly skip through it. We have some songs. I've found uh, some of them throughout the world. Uh, they just are like little discs. So, um, yep, let's go over here. I guess this is a moon pool. You know what a moon pool is? Or glass. I, I always like, if I had an option ever to, and I had to, like, say even on Earth, you, I could live underwater with this and everything. I would do that. I would definitely put glass as much as I could. And, you know, you got bulkheads just in case you have to I guess also the water is getting made at the same time. Oh, also, I didn't notice that. There's a little... That's where the water would come in. Okay. By the way, in real life, though, you'd add bulkheads and everything, just in case you gotta lock down an area. But, yes, that gla this is cool. Like, I would do this. Like, if it was just, like, tunnels like this, that'd be awesome. Um, and then here's the moon pool. This is Steve. I've colored Steve with a gray and the same blue, the, the latch blue. Uh, he has some upgrades in him, uh, so the same thing that we had last time, the drill arm, but I never used it, and then, what was the other one? The jump jet upgrade, which you get down where you get the prawn suit, because uh, on the Mercury 2, there's only two blueprints, and you need three, so again, I went back down to the area underneath the island, um, we're gonna go back down there anyway, because I did find something that I didn't show you guys, because I didn't hit the record button, because my record settings were terrible, um, I'm gonna show it to you guys at least it was one of the architects like scan areas it wasn't a body it was what allowed us to find the uh beacon point the beacon point architect body cache so 
I did scan one of these. I forget which one it was. Um, and it gave me the body cache, and I was like, oh shoot, I didn't do that, I don't think, in the old series. So, from now on, everything should be recorded and fine. It was just me getting everything set up so we could kind of skip doing the seven-episode intro again. Uh, so we can just kind of get into the series more this time. Um, I'll probably fill out this room later. What I wanted to do is probably have another big aquarium and then more rooms branched off from here. I know I could put more glass windows, which I probably will put another one right here. Um... You can see I put one in this command module, so that's what this is. It's It would normally have another beacon type, so it's down here. It's called Control Room Base. I don't like that. That's a big icon. I like just having my little beacon, but now there's so many. But again, there's only one blue beacon, and it's base. So that's how I know this one, where the base is. But this is a cool room. Uh, I haven't done it yet because, again, I, I just turned off the beacon anyway. We can color the house, whatever we want. I put another glass window here so you can look out into the abyss. Um, a little hazier than the rest. Uh, it tells you time, yeah, structural integrity of the areas. I thought that was cool, and power status. Um, so, you can see I'm quite even. I have four power, or four solar pa panels on the roof that are just enough for what I have. So, yeah, and then you can navigate this. So, there's the base. I can hover over it and disable a section, which is kind of cool. Okay, there we go. It was a lightning hit. Strike. Um, so, yeah, that's a cool little feature. I didn't know about this one last time. I didn't mess around with too much base building. Again, that's kind of something I did off camera this time was like, let me build the base how I like it. And I have loved, I know it's simple and these bases can get out of hand and they can get ridiculous. But I don't know, because I started this base off just, there was no bulkhead here. That hatch was right here. And it was just this little one room. And I was living out of it for a while. And then all of a sudden I was like, well, let me build this little new thing, this little sea truck storage unit. That was cool, and I'm like, well, now I would need more space, and I need a moon pool, and I didn't want to build the moon pool out there in the abyss because I knew I'd have to get the prawn suit into it somehow, so I wanted to off shift it. Like, well, I need a lot more space, so I did that, and I, I'm rambling by this point, but either way, I love the glass look. It was just so cool, and just being able... I get a lot of people, like, staring out into that right now. I know a lot of people have an issue with that. They hate the depth of the ocean, and not knowing what's below you gives you the heebie-jeebies. You're scared. I get it. I don't have that fear. I love looking at that. I'm like, ooh. So, <laughs> I don't know. Again, instead of engineering, I would have done marine biology and just I love the ocean. So, I'll, I'll <laughs> either way. Wow, that's um a lot of markers on my screen now. But you can see, like, uh, Marguerite, Mercury 2, Mercury I'm actually going to turn off the Mercury ones. Because I don't need them right now. And I don't like the clutter, but I do like having the availability if I need to turn it on. So we're going to do probably what you're going to see this episode. Because um, we did the whole launch. We're also going to do... Um, probably go to the architect uh, points there. And see what we can get. And my depth module on the Kaya is like 650 Mark II. So I need to get... I gotta get the crystals, I gotta get the things to make all the liquids, because I don't have the spiral, I can't make benzene, I can't make almost any of the chemicals, yeah, so I can't make hydrochloric, I can't make benzene, because I haven't found the flowering spore, hydrochloric, I haven't found the anemone, the young cotton anemone, I haven't found the spiral plant clippings, I can make aerogel, and in turn, I can't make the polyaniline, uh, because I can't make hydrochloric, so, I'm at a, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, so I need the Go around and see if I can find any of that, I guess. So, there you go. This is uh, the new base. I hope you all like it. Um, so, I don't know. It's cool. It's pipes, but it just works. And, you know, I know that's a weird little bend in there, but it's because if you run in the base, you're like, oh, shoot, let me get in here. Or, I mean, you could come in through the moon pool anyway. That or you just get this weird audio thing when you... Oh, I didn't get... Hold on, let me do the launch. <sighs> there we go. So you can launch yourself into the base really quick. So another thing, I was just going down here. This is right near Marguerite's base, right? Where's Marguerite? Do I have it marked off? Um, bu -bu 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 Marguerite's base. Yeah, so her base is just there. And I was going underneath just to see what was down there finally because we have the 650 depths and I didn't have that before. I've never had that that I remember because I only got one of the uh, synthetic fibers, was it? I think it was a synthetic fiber. Yep, synthetic fiber. I only got one off of the Mercury 2's bow. 
So I that was the only time because I haven't found spiral plant clippings. Haven't found a single one yet. Um, so I used that for the depth module this time round. I don't know what I did last time. So that's why it's a little different. I was like, oh, let me go under here. And as I'm just like going around, I found one thing that I haven't had before. I wasn't recording because I didn't. I thought this was going to be a shallow little area. I didn't think it was going to keep going. And I found uh, what's this kyanite. So that's something new. We're going to head down because I got a warning all of a sudden saying Leviathan class creature nearby as I was here. So I quickly went and grabbed the sea truck and I turned around. Um, but I figured this would be oop as long as I don't break it be a moment to find Ooh, there's crystal there i hit something behind me so let me just grab the kyanite though um oh yeah i don't know if i showed you all i might have showed you at the base uh we just have a fabricators uh module and then we also have a storage module i can make the aquarium and i'd have two of the three blueprints for the sleeping one as well but i didn't grab that yet or well i haven't found it I heard like this weird ghost noise just now. Um, so I, I need to still find that one other module. Why am I hearing the noise behind me? Ah, there it is. Ooh. Oh, that's the worm. I didn't think it'd be under here. I thought it was you for a second. I think didn't think the worm would be down here. I thought the worm was only above ground. I encountered them once ages ago. Ooh, blueprint. I already found one of the arms, so it will. This should be the last one. I found it way. I think. I don't remember. It might have been just over there, actually, before it said Leviathan class. So that's why I was like, oh, I should probably start recording. Um. So it's dangerous here. I'm getting that now. Good job. I have this area marked. Also the kyanite. I forget what we need it for. Inventory full. Bad timing. I should have probably put everything away. Maybe grab some water and food. I have some in my inventory. Bladderfish, right? Yeah, I still have them. Let me grab that really quick. You know the worms over there. Somewhere. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bum. All right, let's head through here. Hello. I haven't named these lockers yet, so I haven't been using the wall lockers that have names on it. I've been using the big lockers that you can't name for some reason. Is he in front of the ship? Oh, he's still back there. Oh, he's on a, a route, I guess. Thought he was in front of the ship. Um, all right, we'll keep that on me because it's deadly. We might need a beacon, so I'll keep that on me too. Um, fabricator. Oh, a little bit of lag. I'm gonna need some water. I'm gonna need some food. Getting a little low down there. Um, this time around has been different because I also played in my spare time. I was enjoying it, and this took me a day. This and maybe two days really of actually playing more like two days to kind of get back where we were and I do forget some parts and like I said we might have ooh yeah so we did the whole little test module and I showed you around the new base but I haven't done anything with Marguerite uh none of the architecture stuff except for getting Alan that's about it um oh I think I scanned one structure and you know Okay, big boy, I, I, I hear you. Let me just top off, and I'm going to go out there. I'm going to leave the sea truck here just in case he can eat it. Um, so I haven't done all too much. Again, this is new down here to me. So is the worm one. The only time I encountered the worm was on land ages ago, the first run of this. And I don't know if that was ever in a video. I just went onto land, and I was like, oh, let me see. And then the worm popped up, and I was like, ooh, there you are. He does have a route. Ooh, okay. So, also one thing, one thing I'm realizing I have very little of this time is quartz. I go through so much glass. If you saw that base, I probably complained about it already. Wait. It, oh, magnet. Oh, let me drop that really quick so I can scan it. I haven't seen magnetite yet, so. Oh shit! Ooh. Ooh. Go, go, go around the crystal, around the crystal, around the crystal. Oof. Okay, he's angry. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so, if I've never said this before on the channel, um, 
my study is engineering. I'm a mechanical engineer. Um, I would have been a marine biologist is my other option. I still love the ocean on Earth. I have second thoughts. I probably would still love it, but I'd have second thoughts of just jumping in the ocean all the time with that size Leviathan in the ocean. And mind you, you know, we have big creatures here. Not that big. We've had megalodons and everything, but you know, not in our era. And I, I wouldn't mind, again, the ocean. But there's gonna be a little more of like, hmm, is there a big boy around? Okay, so he goes that way. There's gotta be a route that I'm... God, this is a very dangerous area then. This is right underneath Marguerite's house. Oh, he's coming back around. Right underneath Marguerite's house. Do, 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 do. Oh, no. He's going to aggro. Eh, no? Yeah, actually, let me see where he goes this time. You come this way? Oh, no. This is where this... Okay, never mind. I got a little bit turned around there. You go down, and then you're going to go back up right here. Let me go down, then. I'm uh, running out of air, actually. Let me top off. Damn it. Oh, all right. Well, that was, uh, that was something. Let me, <laughs> do, 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 do. did I get anything? Let me drop off, actually, I guess, everything. Because if I, oh, nope. See, that's why I have these named, uh, all right. Good. So just in case I die, I don't lose anything. Or if I lose something, it's going to be something not too difficult to make. Oh, my goodness. All right. Oh, yeah. See, they're dark. I can't see the magnetite. If I'm here, I need to grab some. Especially considering a big leviathan is over there. And I do want to scan the leviathan. I haven't scanned that one. And, uh... Ooh, I forget the other one's name. Oh, There it goes. So it goes down that way. Go down, and where do you go? Just the repulsion arm. Seeing a lot of ores. Feel like I'm gonna miss something though. Nah, I don't need silver. I had a lot of silver this time actually, um, and lithium. The thing I'm running out of all the time is quartz and lead. All the time. I'm gonna leave these ores for now. Ooh, what are you? Torpedo arm. Okay, well, that will be helpful. Gotta keep an eye on my oxygen, too. I'm being really, like, antsy now, because I, I don't want to die in one way or another here. Seems like I'd bring down the prawn suit, but I don't have materials, I think, to upgrade the prawn suit. I don't have the fibers. Okay, so that's the torpedo arm. Torpedo arm and torpedo arm. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave those for now, because scanning that will just give me titanium anyway. Um, uh, alright. Probably turn around a little bit here. Let me grab the lithium. Please don't be around the corner. Not yet, at least. I scanned the bugs already, so we're good there, too. Uh, god. Any more magnetite? Because I don't want to... Hello? Where are you? You haven't come over here yet. I bet you it's right above me. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where? Are you? Coming. Pretty sure it is. There you are. Okay, I didn't pay attention to you whatsoever. Oof. Okay. Also, we're not that deep down. I mean, we're 500 meters. So I, I'm getting used to the oxygen still because i had just before starting to show the game again um i had just gotten the ultra capacity again which is down by marguerite's base in all the uh sea monkey bases oh yeah what was the because to come down here i feel like it'd be better to bring prawn suit yeah i don't know why i couldn't think prawn suit see there's the sleep truck all right so we have the grappling arm which i still haven't made because i don't have benzene and then now we have this I can make aerogel, that's not an issue. I have the drill arm already. Don't really care for the propulsion. I prefer the grappling arm, to be honest. Um, 
but we might not be able to do the grappling arm. We might have to do the torpedo arm. And then gas torpedo or vortex generates a localized gravity distortion. Lo it takes magnetite? Probably not happening then. We'll do gas. Um, uh, load this. Okay, so we're good there. But how is it benzene? Wasn't benzene... Yeah, I haven't seen flowering spores yet. That was the thing. Because I remember the chemicals... I haven't found any uh, anemones yet. I haven't found flowering spore. I haven't found spiral plants. And of course, I can't make uh, that at all because I don't have any hydrochloric from the uh, anemone. But I can make aerogel. I don't know why that popped up. Was it because of the ruby? Yeah, I don't know when all the advanced materials pop up. So I guess we're going to come back down here later. But for now, that's not that far away. Marguerite's base is up. I might go to that artifact, I guess. I don't know. There's a lot of things to do. Hello, Leviathan class. Um, I mean, that's right by Marguerite's. I, I don't need to mark that. That's, oh, I went outside anyway. Um, let's go this way. I, I don't want to leave yet. That's the thing. Does my inventory have anything? I have magnetite on me. Shoot. You hug the wall at least. Grab any. Uh, there's more silver. There it is. I can see that. At least you can see the belly. I really thought this Leviathan would only stay on land. I don't know why I thought that. It's going to come around here on the left. So let me just back up. Bum, bum, bum. And hopefully it doesn't aggro me. See, I had to do those uh, like little diving techniques on the other Leviathan. Again, I don't think it is a Leviathan class, but it is a big one. It's the, uh, I used it on an old thumbnail. Goodness, I'll have to look at the name in a moment when this thing comes around. I don't want to, there you are. So you do take quite a moment to come around. It is a cool creature though. Really cool. Alright, let me go. Okay, so nothing down there. Ooh, I see you. Plenty of lithium here, but I'm not gonna bother. Anything up here? Not really. Okay. I feel like this is where it comes around, though. Yeah, there's a lot of space here. I feel like this is where it's going to come around. All right, I'm going back. Back to, yes. I don't know if I said this at the house. I named the uh, e truck Kaya, so going back. Kaya. And the prawn suit's name is Steve. Steve's up by the base, though, in the moon pool. And I've lost track of the worm anyway, so... I, I have some magnetite. I was hoping to see more, but I've probably gone past it. Looks again dark, so it's kind of hard to see. Viral plants down there, right? Now there's kyanite, though. I'm gonna. There we go. Hello. Oh wait, don't I? I don't have my suit yet, do I? The retention suit? Um, it's not a retention suit. It's water filtration. I don't have synthetic fiber. Dang it, man. I'm gonna have to. Ooh. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to find that um, somewhere. I don't know where. But uh, let's head back then to... I guess... I don't know. Yeah, let me see if uh, one of the artifacts are on the way, and then we'll do that. Ooh, I missed a crystal. Okay, so there was an artifact. Uh, oh, there's a ruby there. I don't know. It, wait. What? Egg? Where are you? Creature egg. I don't need that creature egg. Um, so there is one right down there. Architect body cache. Um, so I know I never went to that one in the last series. For anyone who's wondering, uh, you actually got that where I think the prawn suit was originally on the backside. Um, I guess I, ha I have to go back there anyway. So And that's where I had found the suit. Or not the suit. The... Uh, excuse me? Wind shark. Ooh, he's behind me. Okay. There he is. Yep, I heard him. 
Um, so I thought, hey, let's go down to this one. Hello, Squid Shark. How you doing? And fuck it off. There you go. Hour out for a minute. There we go. All right. So we're going to head down here. This was the one that it's a giant cracked crevice from Mercury 2. Uh, I think the... I don't know if it is from that, but there was the uh, AI was came online and said, uh, large rock formation cracked due to impact. I'm going to guess it was the Mercury 2's bow that did this. So, I don't know. We're going to go down here. It sounds like people's technology nearby. Good to know, the Alan. Component is oh, near. look at those. I'm pretty sure... Isn't that the... The spore that I was just talking about? Yes, the flowering... I'm pretty sure those are the flowering spore. Okay. Well, we're at a sizable depth, and I'm hitting this thing, like, constantly. Not used to a big back on this thing. I'm pretty sure those are the flowering spores, and I need them. I'm gonna take as much as I can while I'm here. Yes! Is it? Yes, it is. Oh, God. I think this was one thing I had never found in any of the other tries of doing this game. Firing spores. Is that also the spiral plant? His, don't tell me they were in the same spot. Oh! It's gonna grab me. Okay, now it didn't. Is everything here the... I'm gonna be mad if all the... That would make sense, though. Because I think you get the chemicals when you're nearby here. When you... No much sense. When you're at Marguerite's place, you get the gel sacks and rubies, because those are by her home, and that is an advanced material, so it probably... Oh. This isn't far away, but you need the depth module. They thought about it. I'm pretty sure this was it, right? This is not it? Viral plant? All right, so there's the anemone. For all of you who know about anemones. Um, how do I get the spiral plant? Uh, I'll take the... Pick. Yes. Okay, I'm going to... So much. Thank goodness I brought a storage unit. You stay right there. I actually haven't scanned you, I don't think. All right, I can't scan you. Goodbye. All right. Grab more of these. Inventory's full. Do these? Oh, they are. It is. Let me drop off everything. Oh, don't grab me. Yep, there you are. See, you like to... Get off. With the knife. With the knife. With the knife. Okay, thank you. Ah, that one did not want to let go. Young cotton anemone, that should be fine for now, honestly. Um, oh, I have a yet anemone seed. That's perfect. Because I can plant that. Pretty sure I have the... Uh, do I have the planting? The exterior plant? If I have one, I can just keep regrowing. If not, I can just come back down here, honestly, now that I know it's here. Here we grow a bed. Yes, I do. Um, oh, and this one's empty. Perfect. I'm gonna grab as much as I can here. I'm gonna leave these creature eggs out here. I don't know what creature this one is. Possibly it's a cool one. Who knows? Uh, all right, let's. No, no, don't grab me. Don't freaking grab me again. Uh, I say that because I'm here. All right, I can't grab that. Is this something different? I don't think I scanned those unless that's. Um, it, it might be the flowering spore. A large anemone. Don't kill me. I feel like there could be a worm in this. Oh god, okay, it's a this one again, yeah. I didn't see you. Grand condemnemony. Okay. I always think about freaking uh I guess everyone thinks about it from finding Nemo. Hey! Oh! Okay, it's boots those out. That's good to know. Um ooh, did I I've already found you. I haven't scanned any of the spinnerfish. I'm here. Become part of my collection. I have an aquarium that I've just been grabbing all the fish. So is it, he's not the spiral plant that I was thinking of? Oh, okay. I thought that was the spiral. Might be somewhere else. What are these? Oh, copper ore. Okay. I'm loaded with diamonds as well, so I don't really Seek have to. Fluid intake. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Wait. I see. Oh, no. That's a normal fish. Ooh, don't grab me. Okay. Whew. I'm not going to take that. Um, again, just more of this. There's rubies here. That's cool. I would like... 
Alright, let me get on Kaya then. Um, I hate those things. So, didn't it say it was down here, right? Oh, it's still below me. Okay. I need to find those spiral plants. That's the thing. I gotta find a way down. It might have honestly been the way I was going. Right over. Ooh! Hello. Let's just head on over this way, I guess. I saw the Urania cell. Is it Urania cell? I don't know what it was. Um, alright. Well, this is kind of leading the way. You see one of these pillars. Let's hope that there's no death just down here waiting for me to turn the corner. All right. I'm going to have to... I don't... We really need those fibers. Like, that's... But I thought it was those. Unless you need a different tool to harvest them. Huh. Okay, well, I guess I made a wrong turn. I'm guessing I made a wrong turn. Maybe. I'll be back if not. This looks more down, though. And if needed, I can probably grab some fish that are down. What in the hell? Oh, squid shark, yeah. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Get away from me. I thought it was something different than the squid shark. Oh, it's right here. Okay. So you're just defending. Oop, sideways. I guess I'm not used to the big stern still. Why are you just defending this thing down here? They always have, like, a squid shark, because I guess they're threatening enough in a small area. All right. Do two things here. I guess we're at the alien artifact, the body spot. But, um, let's repair. Yeah, it took a lot of damage on the way down here. We're not at a too far of a depth for this thing. But the Cyclops only goes 400 right now. That's why we need... Oh. Okay, cool, cool. Oxygen. Let me see, also, it's just now in my head, so I'm not gonna stop until I do remember it. What do I need for... The upgrade for the... Cy is it, yeah, the Cyclops? I do I, no, it's not Cyclops. I keep saying the Cyclops. That was the big submarine. Uh, from Seek Subnautica 1. Immediately. Okay, from the prawn suit. Um, don't we take a lot of damage, too, from... Okay, I just passed the upgrades. Um, do we have a depth module upgrade? Sea truck. Prawn suit depth. Synthetic fibers, man. All right, well... Can I drink any of this water? No? Okay. Ooh, it looks like a body... Okay, all right, all right. Well, give me just a second. I'm going to die from no water. Could eat the spiral fish. But this one's not cooked, so I'll lose water. I know everyone's like, ooh, you're scan the big thing behind you. But I mean, I'll get there. I like it. I like it. I'm just jumping all over everyone's stuff here. Architect component. Skeletal structure, so there we go. That's a giant skeleton. We have that. Uh, I can make that, right? Well, I can't do the. Like, can I? Because it takes the. Oh, wait, now can I? Polyaniline takes the hydrochloric, the hydro. I can do the hydrochloric. I've got plenty of salt. I can do that. The only thing is the synthetic fibers. I don't have the spiral plant. Able to handle heavy forces. A good frame for my new form. Are you okay, Alan? It is not often that I gaze upon the form of a foreign architect. Is this place another sort of sanctuary? It's peaceful. That Beautiful, even. As Aerial. the bacterium spread, the continuation of life became uncertain. This is a place to reflect. I think I understand. Hmm. All right, then. Well, let me get out of here, then. At least I've never... We haven't done the body stuff or anything. Hello, Squid Shark. Yes, I see you. Get away from me. Uh, let's get out of here, I guess, because I'm running low on water. He's still behind me. No. Um, I'm going to also see if I can... Ooh, I can find some fish, like I said. I'm here, fish. 
Alright, so. I want to view more fish. No. I thought that those were the spiral plants, though. I guess not. Level up the ship here so I can go to hook the fish. What are you going to give me? Any water? Yes. Alright, we got H2O. We're good. That should get us home. Uh, Alright, let's go. Like I said, up and out. Um, If I ever need to get more... How much is it per hydrochloric? Or benzene, not hydrochloric. It's two. And it doesn't seem like it's used in a lot of things. Okay, thank you. EDA. Um, if I need to, I guess I'll just come back. It's not that far from the house. I don't know if I showed off the location of how close the house is. It's still on the shallow side where you first start, but it's about 300 meters towards the island compared to where I, I might have shown you all earlier. Again, I have kind of stepped away, so sometimes I do forget. This is hopefully a sleep module. I don't know. I haven't gotten out yet. It is. You'll see this clip. If not, you won't see this clip, and I'll probably delete it. <gasps> it is a sleeper module. I don't know if I'm like, oh, it's just sometimes at night. I guess it's helpful. Don't know if there's any other benefit. Oh, your bladder fish. I was on my way back still from. Uh... Oh, big boy. Okay. Didn't know he was right above me. Let me get out of here. See, this was the big guy I was talking about earlier. I'm still on my way back from the place below where we got the architect body. That's where, okay, so it was right below him, no wonder. So I did scan him. I just haven't done the uh, the squid shark scan yet, I guess, and the, the big leviathan worm. You mad? Yep, you are, hello. I was like, you're not gonna, okay. I thought it was about to like, just eat me. Even though I've died, of course, by getting eaten before that in the past. Oh, I'm dying from water loss. Okay, that's why. I was wondering why I was taking damage and the vehicle was taking damage. I thought I had a bug. Um, That's fine when I get back. Don't die yet. I'm not that far away. If so... Wait, I have the... Hold on. Come here, come on, come on. I'll be fine. Stop dying. See, I get filtered water at home. <gasps> Boom. Vital First signs aid kit. stabilizing. We're all good. We'll make it home now. I hit a fish. <laughs> I think I hit a peeper. I didn't pay attention. Um, okay, so either way, I also didn't recolor. So I don't know if... There we go. That was why. So I have the Mercury 2. Oh, can I not... Dude, that's kind of annoying. Because I guess I placed Marguerite's base after the Mercury 2 starboard. I'm guessing it's, it's, I don't think it is the starboard. It might be the starboard, whatever. Uh, it's part of the Mohiri too. I just marked it. It's right by the Leviathan as well. So it works for me. Not the, whatever the other one is called. Goodness, this is going to bother me because I keep saying it's a Leviathan. Data bank. Uh, hold on. I'm still in a dangerous zone, I guess, for this thing also to have been taking damage. I probably don't want it to uh, blow up. Okay. Um... Definitely gonna be under. Is it? It's not just Leviathan. Oh, they are Leviathan class. Okay, I thought they were Leviathan class. Uh, Elicerate, Elicerate, or Elicerate, Elicerate. I don't know. That one's a like Glow Whale Leviathan class. That's fine. That's an easy name. Um, can I have some pronunciation on this, please? You know what? The robot will do it for me right now. Elicerate. That's how it's said. Um, so what we're gonna do is, either way, I thought I was gonna die from this thing. I'm gonna call it Shelly. Shelly's gonna be that name until I know it, because I'll know after this episode from now on, but for this episode, the robot did it, and its name is Shelly for, for now. Um, I'm still on my way back to the base, but you know what, we're here, so let's just dock, please. Yeah, this was added in also recently, how you can kind of time or date this episode. This was like just added, like maybe within the last month. All right. Welcome aboard, Captain. Captain. I do like it as well. Brother, right. I have something important to share. Another artifact. Yes, yes. Alan. Although you cannot know for sure what it is, but it is certainly of significant import. I know. 
Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, I thought that conversation was going to go on just a little longer. So, we have a new PDA location. Either way, they're all around. All right, so we made it back to the house. It's time to offload everything. I was able to top off my water and all. Uh, or just bu 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 bu. Gonna take out everything. I'm going to have to make an actual storage room as well because I just made another locker really quick so I can toss everything in. But I'm going to get annoyed because none of it's organized and I won't be able to find anything by this point. I'm just going to have to run between locker, locker, locker. So like just in this case, dump creature again that one I know I haven't made the big room for it because I'm pretty sure it's a sea monkey I would like a sea monkey pet um let's put everything I can away oh nope wrong items yeah my little grub guy uh let me put him away as well I guess um uh, would he fit in here is there any problem with him being in there we can't even go in there okay well grub guy I'm sorry me release you back into the wild. Good luck, grub. Yeah, low grub. Have fun. Okay, well, Dad, I thought he could fit in there. Um, I guess we can put a different fish in there now. Uh, food, water, we're all good there. Let me go offload some more. Offload whatever I can. I'm glad I have an abundance now of some of these things. Nope, oh, the water, give me back. I didn't leave anything in any of these, right? Da, 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 da. Uh, there's the seed. I see that one, but I'll leave that. Okay. Uh, Alright. I always have a beacon on me. And I some of these things I gotta... Put away. Oh, like that anyway. Top myself off. Filtered water versus non-filtered. Um, Or, yes. There we go. All the lithium, the titanium, the kyanite, all that great stuff. All right, now we got everything dropped off. I guess the next thing to do, um, there are two things. So I'm gonna turn it back on. So on my way back, like you saw, we stopped off by, I think it was the Mercury 2 Starboard. I was going past there anyway, cause from, there's Mercury 2 Starboard and then Marguerite's base. Marguerite's base is down that way. So I usually come up anyway, kind of from there. I was going that way, and that's where I saw the sleeping module, so we can make the sleeping module now, too, actually. I could do that any time. Um, but when I went to the Mercury 2 Starbird before, I didn't go deep, because the sea truck couldn't do it at that time. That's when I was just playing on my own. It said geothermal vents below. So that means there's a whole area below there, too, and it looks like... I don't know if that's... That maybe be for the Architect Artifact PK-8? Might be. I don't know. Either way, there's all these other architect bodies. So the body cache, we already did. That's the body. Yeah, that's the one by Marguerite. So I can turn that one off because we did the body cache. We're all good there. Um, that one's off. And then I don't remember which one that was. The 415. That one's down right below. I'm pretty sure I've gone to that. Again, that was the one that I told you I scanned that told me where the body cache was. Da 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 da. Um, Either way, we'll, we'll double check. I'll double check all of these. Um, I'll go check that one too. But um, because those two are so close, I might just go down to where those vents are. Is it said geothermal vent, heat rising, da 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 da. So I knew like, hey, you're gonna get burned if I stuck around. So I'll probably go over there really quickly because I want to see what's there along with we could get whatever architecture with Alan. Um, and as you saw in the intro, um, I still have to remember about, I think she said a kilometer east of the island. So one click east, we should go see Marguerite at her, she said farmhouse, I think. Um, God, I need to, I don't know why I kept doing that. One quartz builder. I, yeah, I'm going to also more than likely in the next episode between this episode and what would be the next episode, I'll probably work on this like, uh. A little storage room. I don't care to. Did I build this way off the wall? It is way off the wall. See, that'll annoy me too. Um, so I might make a little storage crafting room that I can just go in. Normally, I would do that as the this place. I guess I could. I could make that. I don't want to block the windows. I like this room. So this one I like to leave as the bedroom. I guess because it's the center of the base. I can see everything. Da 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 da. 
And I'm probably gonna make this a glass top too. But it just costs, I think, a lot of check. It should be in this. Um it's four. It's four enameled glass. Which is kinda costly. That's four diamond. That's nothing. I have plenty of diamond. It was really the quartz and lead is my issue. See, out of everything here, quartz is still one of the lowest I'm stacked on diamonds. Diamonds and silver and salt is not an issue. Quartz, I, you can see now they're spread throughout, which I also don't like, but um, I have more quartz now, but I've been burning through quartz like crazy. And now that I have a prawn suit, you know, that should be fine too. I can go find some quartz, like geodes and everything now, hopefully, with the prawn suit. So, um, for now, I'll do that later. I like to kind of think a bit more between episodes, like uh, just what to do, like build the base out. Like I said, um, I might just think about this room honestly because some of the things, uh, where is it? In here, are you here? Yeah, so because this is a bigger room, I can make a, a larger alien dome in here, which is it, uh, the containment. So just that, I also haven't messed with the partitions too much. I can see how it works and I mean, I could make a bedroom with it somewhere here, but I can, yeah, you, like, you can make a bedroom there. It would be good if this game was multiplayer, because then you could, like, split the room and everything. This wouldn't be here, so. Um, I'm probably also going to build off of this with probably this. I don't know. I might do a, you know, observation room or something. Uh, I'm going to put more glass in here. I know this dome is going to be, like, there you go. That's going to be glass. Are these both? Yeah, so multi per Oh, I, I went over the multi-purpose. So it's two enamel glass versus four enamel glass. So e either way, at the time, both were quite expensive for class roofs. And I think, look at that. You'll be able to see everything above. So I'll, I'll definitely make this roof class two. Ooh, jeez, okay. Thank you, I guess all that water's ready. Let me grab the water. See, and we always have salt, so we're fine. Um, yeah, I'll think about this more and I'll make either, I'll probably make a storage room, something. I'm gonna leave that reinforced. I could, I don't know. See, again, I might take that off and make a storage room there, uh, but then the glass window over there would get blocked, so I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I might just tack it on over here. I might tack it on on this side. The only issue with that side was I had planned to... I just need glass, right? Yeah. That's what I was... Do that really quick, so... You all can see kind of where I'm going with it. I know I'm rambling by this point, but that's kind of how I go. <laughs> so... Uh, wait, how's the hull integrity? I think I... Ooh, hold on. Okay, the hull integrity is fine. Yeah, see? Like, I like having the glass windows everywhere. And I know this can be glass, or this can be glass here. I just haven't done that yet. I reinforce those, actually. Those can't be reinforced. Um, so either way, I like to... If this was just tubes, it'd feel more spaceshipy than, you know, Subnautica by that point. By the way, let's head on over to Mercury 2 kind of area. Be nice. Get something going if there's anything over there. Okay, I do remember it. I don't know if I said this earlier. I might have. Because I've been kind of all over the place for this episode. Just making sure everything was, you know, hey, we, we got the launch. We got this. We got all that. Um, I remember Q5... Uh, English. Q59 was... The one that told us where to get the body scan, which we just did before we went back to the base. So that's Q59. I am going to right now, right away, so I don't, because I'm going to start forgetting them, like which one's which. Uh, because again, I was doing this beforehand, so God, I keep hitting all the fish. Um, Q59 is done. Don't have to worry about Q59. Q59 was the body, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Um, if we have to go back, or will the comments yell at me about something? I'll go back to Q59, but I'm pretty sure that was down where the prawn suit was. Anyway, there's ore down there, so when I get the depth module for the prawn suit, I'm probably going to go over there. I know I'm pretty sure the prawn suit can go down there. It's less than 400. But still, when I get the module upgrade, then we'll properly do it. So, by the way, we're almost there at 400 meters. Um, I hit the bow. Another bow. I did the stern. I'm really bad with boat terms as well. I thought about that because I was thinking bow, stern, starboard, port side, and the differences, and I've been there, by the way. You can see I've opened the containers before anyone's like, ooh. 
Luckily, these guys. I haven't scanned these guys. I haven't scanned them or the uh, Witch Shark yet. I like scanning everything, including the monsters that will eat you. So, uh, where's the big boy? I hear him. You're there, big boy's over that way. So, you know what? We'll just go down towards the Mercury 2. I'm calling in this the Mercury 2 starboard. I don't know what portion of it it is. It might honestly be port side uh, engine. Like the rear left engine, so I'd call that port side engine. Uh, God, see, I told you I'm really bad with that. So let me look in the Mercury 2, though. I didn't really go in there much because these guys were... Yeah, see. Okay. Relax. Have fun out there, okay? Well, let me scan you. <gasps> let me scan you. He, he's no longer aggroed. We scan. Nope. Oh, it won't let me scan. Okay, whatever. I might have. Wait, I might have already scanned them then. I can find out. Let me look at the book. Um, bu 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 oh, data bank. Research. Indigenous life forms. Fauna. Carnivores. Oh, I did scan them already. Didn't know that. There's my beacon. I love leaving the beacons. Uh, supply cache. Battery. I'll take it. Uh, cut open the access. That's a repair tool. Where's my laser cutter? I, I normally... Oh, I brought the base builder with me. That's why. I normally leave that at the base. I don't know why. Alright, fuel rod. I have a few of those already. Haven't done anything with, like, other types of fuel, because I haven't needed it um, for nuclear. Is this just the thing we launched earlier? Probably is. Uh, I think something's aggroing me like a squid shark right now, but it can't get me in here, so. Doesn't know what I mean, a solid object. Um, either way, I'll get titanium out of this if it's that. Yeah, it is. Parallel processing unit. Um, boom, boom, titanium. I've got plenty of titanium, but you know, when you start building a base, you burn through all the titanium you have. Stay here, beacon. Along with, I guess I'll pick these up. Put them in, uh, the sea truck. Perfect. Store it in here. Boom, and... I don't know. Oh, it's already full. That's fine. Alright. So, we did that then, so I don't need to worry about the Mercury 2. I guess I'm going down then. See, there's the geothermal vents it was telling me about. And that's why I was curious if there was anything down here, because I don't think I've ever been down here. Um, oh, I thought the prawn suit was something. Look. Little node thing. That why, architect? Yeah, it's that way. Is that the one? Did I already go to that? No, I haven't. Oh, ooh. oh, okay. Big guy's down there behind me. Um, geothermal vents. Okay, so I just gotta be careful that these don't pop around me. What are those that are glowing out there? Let me go look. If I just go past things and... Alright, so it doesn't need to be scanned. Huh. The gel sacks. I have gel sacks, though. There's a lights. Pick one up, anyway. I'm here. Creature egg! Oh, it's a sea monkey. Oh. oh, thank you for the titanium. I wish I had a fish for you, sea monkey. Unless you're a herbivore, I don't know. Um, Let me go down that way, I guess. It doesn't look like there's anything really here. I'm gonna hate it that I already have uranite, so don't worry about that. Wait, what is that? What are you? What are you? What are you? I've seen you, I guess. Uh, it was something special. I'm still trying to keep an eye out for, um... What were we saying earlier? The spiral plant. We still haven't found the spiral plant, so I'm kind of hoping that's down here. Ooh. Are you the sleep module? I feel like you're the sleep module. Knocking. Drug knocking module fragment. What's that do? Oh, I could bring the prawn suit. Okay, I need that. Um, all right. I guess that's what's going to be down here. Look for that. Then. Oh, no. Do I have all the modules now behind me? There you go. Okay, that's fine. As long as they're connected now. Make 
sure, because... Alright, we're good. Right, that would be cool, though. That means the prawn suit, um... Because the prawn suit's not the most mobile of things. Um... I just realized what I'm looking at. <gasps> Thank God! I needed it. I needed it so badly. Viral plants. I, I, I was looking at... Yeah, I was looking at this again. I'm like, oh, no, that's the plant from up there. And then I noticed the side. Oh, my goodness. How much space does that take up? And does it have a lifetime? Oh, it doesn't. Give me... Okay, that's only two from each plant. All right, good to know. All right, so they're down here. That's not too far from the house either. That's... The, I... Oh, I didn't show where I put the house. Again, I said where it was rough location-wise, but it's on a cliffside. Again, that's 300 meters between the start little pod and the island. It's halfway. That's why I built it. It was because it was a good starting area. And, um... My goodness. It, it's, like, good for all resources, pretty much. At least what I'm finding. Uh... Abundantly nearby. There we go. Alright, so we have the docking module and the spiral plants down here. And it looks like alien architects. The artifact you found contains traces of information suggesting what has become of my people. Hey, Alan, don't worry. Go scan it. Hey, it looks like someone's spying. Are, were they like big fossil like What? Cyclotron. Recyclotron. Let me look. Okay. Oh! Oh no, that's the sleeper module. Okay. Docking module. Where is the recyclotron? I know I'm suffocating at the same time. Okay, recyclotron. Recycles items into their uh, continuant parts. Oh! Constituent parts. I don't know why I say continuant. Um. Okay. Here. Oh, I see spiral plant. Hold on. I mean, I've been... want the spiral plants now. There's so many things I think that just take this. So good because all of it needed. I can grow them. I'm pretty sure with the seabeds, right? I think I can. Hopefully. All right. Well, let me go over here. I don't remember where the uh... here. Let me see. Oh, there's an ion cube. Okay. Perfect. Helpful. I have three of them from earlier because I haven't really messed with it as much. Right, I saw a spiral plant. Yep. God. All the suffering. Alright. Um, Alan, you gonna talk to me? No. That one up. Go ion cube, spiral plants. There. Um, what was that data log that I had that I opened it up? Fossil excavator. Based on analysis, it is speculated that this artifact is an archaeological tool for finding and excavating fossil remnants. The main body of the equipment is housed between two glide rails. The excavator emits a sonar pulse that gathers data on the ground beneath it, and it bounces back with a possible fossil uh, object, fossilized object. Uh, it begins the excavation process. A set of lasers emits from the arms and slowly removes micro layers of material. Once the fossil is revealed, the same or careful calibrated lasers are utilized to break loose materials while preserving uh, the fossil underneath. Fossils can be analyzed using uh, carbon dating and other methods that we use this now, by the way, uh, to understand whether environments make uh, up might have uh, been millions of years ago, while we uh, compare it to current data to look for trends. We do that nowadays, by the way, for fossil uh, excavation, not the lasering or anything like that. That's cool. But, um, I know of, uh, but we do use carbon dating for carbon date printing. Bum, 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 bum. All right, either way, I'm not an expert on that, but still, uh, is this an? Oop, I hit something. Sorry. You know what? I'm gonna leave the sea truck here instead of constantly getting in it for now, and uh, just go on the sea glide for now. God, I, this was worth it. Oh, I thought that was a creature right away as I said that. Um, we already have. What I really was hoping for out of this was that spiral plant. This this was the only area that I hadn't gone down, except for where the worm is now. So, where the worm is kind of, I don't know, the, the no-go area for now. And then some of these, I gotta go to these. Don't, ooh, you're about to blow. Yeah, that was, whew, 
I was about to swim right over that too. I would have probably died. Is this all salt deposits? Lithium. Salt. I don't need salt. Thank you. Yeah, wow. Boom. Big explode. These. Uranite all over the place. Ha ha ha. Ooh. That's about to pop. Ooh, this goes. Damn. Okay. Well, that goes deeper, so let me bring the sea truck over now. That's only 380 meters. Yeah, that would be fine. See, now I said I'd uh, leave the sea truck, but I didn't notice that was going to be a big drop off zone. Ah, God. All right. Let's head on down. Down to the bottom of the sea. Oh, shit. I don't know why I'm singing. I was singing. Not really that great. Either way, um, don't pop. Well, it's gonna pop. But we're going down. Oop! I clipped the side. All right, that's all good there. Turn, 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 turn. Thank you. Anyone who gets seasick really quick. Oh wait, is this Marguerite's house? Oh my goodness, is this the connecting zone? Wait. Where the worm is? This is where the worm is, because the arm's there. My eyes almost got watery for some reason. I'm, is this the worm? No. I'm pretty sure the worm's around here, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I hear you. There you are. This is the same spot. Goodness, I didn't know it links underground like that. You could get so screwed. Okay. Um. Awesome. I guess I don't know I didn't go that deep down because I said I was gonna bring the prawn suit here so I guess let me go do I have the full module yet I didn't I don't think I have the blueprint for it because then I can bring it here on the back of the sea truck which would be way easier instead of me just trying to walk it you truck docking module all right let's look around for that last piece of docking module and then um because that would be really helpful I don't know if there is another part up here. I wasn't paying too much attention. I should have, but um, that would be very helpful. But that makes so, also the benzene and everything, like I said earlier, was on the other side of this cavern. So that would make sense too, on the other side of Marguerite's pool. Ooh, I might've just found another piece. I, I, it looks like it. I almost <laughs> beat the heck out of it. There we go. All right, I did find another piece. Um, good. All right. I think the, the only module I don't have the full blueprints for was the... No, we found the sleeper module. Okay. So what haven't I made? I made a fabricator. I've made the storage. I haven't made the aquarium. All right, so what's it take? Enamel glass, plasteel, wiring kit. I can do that. That's easy. I can do... Wait, advanced wiring kit. I got to double check. Fiber mesh. That's... Really? Okay. I guess for the bed. Um, that's also easy. So I can make these modules. I don't know how long... The truck can be though, um, maybe four modules, so I'd have to decide. But um, the advanced wiring kit isn't too hard, right? It's pretty simple. It's just whether I have the abundance of resources. Oh yeah, it's a computer chip. That's table coral, gold, and uh, copper ore or copper wire, right? I'm starting to remember these things. Computer chip, table coral, gold, copper wire. Yeah, all right. Boom. That's not great for my health, but you know, uh, <laughs> I'm freezing there it's cold in this water here um so yeah uh now what what was i gonna oh yeah i guess we did the was that the artifact that was down there um shoot that's not that one right no that wasn't that one. Oh, here let me head out oh stop hitting the sides and mercury to starboard i'll turn that off in a second let's head on over to hi over to this really quick brute shark up there here let me while we're going past no i don't need that anymore thank you um architect artifact da, 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 da. you can to marguerite's base a moment starboard you know what I use marguerite's base as kind of like a uh, a beacon no i use it as kind of like a, a way to go around if i know it's down there you know boom okay Oh, hello, Squid Shark. I hear you. See, if this... Ooh, 
If I had the prawn suit, you'd be mine. Um. An active volcano detected nearby. I was trying to think of what I was gonna say, but then he showed up. Plus, oh God, don't come right at me. Okay, you are. I, nope. Get off me. There you go. We have the defense system, luckily, so the second he grabbed. I should have done that earlier. I didn't do that. At least she said inactive, so I'm going to assume we're safe to go down. I think dark in here. Hold on. Give me just a minute. Light. Let there be light. Hopefully it's not too, uh, I didn't balance the camera because it's not a fancy camera. It says, ooh, diamonds and rubies. It's, a. Uh... This artifact could provide useful information. Yeah. Processing. Excuse me? Hold on. I can visualize a location where we may find an important component okay. for my body. The image is hazy, but I am sure it is correct. A stark yeah. surface landscape. Dangerously cold. Curved spires stretch to the sky. Oh, the surface. Okay, so he's telling us to go to the actual snow biome, which is cool. Um... So let me mark off PK-8, because I'm here. All right, PK-8. Boom. All right. Go, ooh, some ion cubes. Always nice to have them. Architect artifact. All right, and then that is just death down there, it looks. I'm going to guess it's something with geothermal. The fossil ground sampler. Ground sampler. This alien artifact appears to be a programmable robot that collects and analyzes samples of soil and rock. Scans uh, indicate presence of equipment closely uh, an analogous. Analogous. I don't know why I stopped on that word. Uh, to human-built lasers and spectrograph analysis equipment. Okay, cool, cool. So that essentially helps him, I guess, remember that we should go somewhere. Like in that case, he was indicating. What sounds like, hey, go to, you know, land. Somewhere near land. Um, alright, so there's, what, lithium, diamonds, and rubies here? I don't really need these as much. I always grab diamonds. I don't need rubies too often, but I'll leave that there, because I misclicked. Um, but diamonds, you know, I use a lot of enamel glass anyway. Um, lithium is always used in everything. Rubies, as of right now, I'm not abundantly in need of rubies, but if I do... I now know where to go. Um, there's a, quite a few spots anyway. Titanium ore. That's cool. Oh, there's a bunch of titanium ore and copper ore. That's good to know. Uh, there's places to go though for all these. These are in um, like magnetite or uh, what is it? Ionite. Magnetite. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, hello, Alan. How do humans cope with the loss of memories? Like the bitch. forgetting someone's birthday? I don't know. It just happens. All the time. When you die, some quantity of knowledge is lost forever to the next generation. Isn't that? I'm Read warning you, if you call humanity inefficient one more time, I will swim us both into the mouth of a leviathan. Is that one right there? Sarcasm. I am still having trouble differentiating. How inefficient? Efficiency aside, does the loss of knowledge not create complications? Well, on a personal level, losing someone can be traumatic. But it's harder to process the idea of generational knowledge. Humans aren't networked, so we can't even be aware of what we're losing moment by moment. We try to learn from history. Maybe it's not ideal, but it's what we have. Didn't want to interrupt. When you no longer have the memories of others to combine with your own. You make your own memories and interpretations. You have to experience life as an autonomous being. Discover yourself. That idea is foreign to me. I mean, she's got a point. He's got a point. You know, that's one thing I guess uh, they did more in this one was you can understand Alan and uh, who I don't know our main protagonist's name. Forget her name. We were talking about loss of memory there. I don't remember her name. I'm terrible with names and birthdays. Uh, or just, I don't know. Uh, isn't it? No, Sam's the sister forget my character robin right there <laughs> goodness um you can understand both robin and alan um all right so where was the island because i picked up the beacon 
off the island. So let me just do some math here. The base is that way. I think due south or due west? Southwest, south, then due east. East about a thousand, east a thousand from the base. About a thousand there, so I need to go about, what, 300 more? Oh, yep, there's an island there, but there's also these giant pads, so uh, I'm pretty sure this island is a thousand meters out east, so in a rough vicinity we can get an idea. Of, I think this is our island, right? Unlike Subnautica 1, there's a oh, hello, brute shark. You're kind of out in the deep for a brute shark. I don't think that's her house. Uh, again, it's a rough estimate. It might be the other one coming up over there. Hello. I don't want to hit you. Oh, all of these guys are cool. See? Nothing deadly out here. Oh, yeah. This is it out there. I see the building. Okay. Now, this I know would spook people. Looking down. Sorry. Ooh. What is that? Oh, those are just glow whales. I thought there was something else down there. The storm kind of just went away. Uh, yeah, th look, there's stuff on the island. There's got to be this one. Something to scan here. These? Who are you? Body heat. Oh! Okay, that's cool. Gives you food, water, body. Oh, that's really good. Can I get a seed from that? Possibly. Please? That would be nice to have those around, but I'll probably have to come here and uh, carry one back eventually. I have a beacon on me, right? Perfect. There we go. All right. So perfect, perfect. I'll be able to leave a beacon on this little island. Hello, Marguerite. Are you home? Please be home. I don't want to freeze out here. Oh, hold on. Before I come inside some bones out here I want to see if I can scan. Bones? No? Alright. Well, questionable why there's bones just out here. Hello? Damn satellite hasn't passed by in a while. I guess that was your doing. Yes. Sam's not the only one in the family who knows knew what to do with vague directions and old wire. She was an original, that sister of yours. First time I met her, I was sure she was Altera through and through. Not a crease in her uniform. Sending those damn bird bots to spy everywhere. Then, she surprised me. Maybe a little too much. Hmm. Meaning? If you really want to know, there's a PDA on the bench that can point you in the right direction. You need like anything her. else? <laughs> Don't bother me. <laughs> but you can help yourself to the greenhouse. At least I can do to repay you for getting those spine pests off my back. Awesome. Okay. Perfect. Um, let me one second. This and then uh it. I think that's how I spell it. Marguerite. Is that how you spell it, Marguerite? Oh no. I don't know why I've never spelled Marguerite except for one time. You can look all you want. There's more to Marguerite than any damn fangled gadget can see. I bet she uh, answers to that. Marguerite made a interior grow bed. Awesome. Preston's plant. I normally read over those eventually. Can I? No? Not how you do it? Oh, okay, it's just a... Um, delightful to some, Preston... Okay, so... I mean, it's edible. So... Ooh, God, yes, there's plenty of stuff in this place now. A marble melon. Um, I'm probably not going to grab any of these vegetables until I have a grow bed for some of them. I'm just picking one, though, so I can eat them all. Food, H2O, small alien fruit. Okay. kind of want to see what's the best thing and start planting these but we'll come back for this that's why i always bring a beacon with me i thought i already ate one of these okay. 
EDA. That's why we're actually here. I've already synthesized an antidote and stashed it in a cave. I can go grab it and... That's your plan? You don't think it'll work? <sighs> You're thinking too small. Like maybe if you're polite enough about destroying the bacteria, Altera will come around and see it your way. But do you believe in yourself or not? I think so. You think so? Come on. Is a bacteria a threat or isn't it? It is. Does it need to be dealt with or not? It does. So who's right on this? I am. Say it like you mean it. I am. I said like you mean it, not like you're testifying before a rigged transgov court. I am. Right. Then what you gotta do is seal off the whole cave. I've got just the stuff. Made it for fishing, but it blew the whole ice shelf halfway to deep space. Vaporized all the fish. Okay. And you gotta hit the lab too, or there's just no point. Actually, you know what? Let me take care of that one. It'll be fun. Okay. So that explains um, our Marguerite's little base over there. Um, the AI earlier came online. This would have been in other playthroughs as well, where it said that the second you got near to where it said the pilot's last known location, it said, it looks like the shelf was blown up and there's a base in there above Marguerite's, above where we found the body scan earlier, like way above in the little shelf. I didn't show it again because it was on the prior playthroughs that I had already been to. Um, and it's another repeat again, beginning thing. I probably should have done that one, but either way, it just had Sam's photo and a few other things. But they did say it looked like it had been blown up. Like someone had attached explosives and remote detonated it for, on a vehicle, like say a sea truck. Um, that was them. <laughs> that was Marguerite and Sam, or Marguerite, but yeah. All right, Marge, old girl. We hate this greenhouse. So here are some pointers to remember so we never have to do the worst parts again. Too bad you can't fight malnutrition by hunting it down and killing it. So first thing, insulation. First few nights, the soil was rock solid. Ended up having to insulate the damn place with dehydrated kelp. Adding a thermal mass helped too. Heat from barrels of water. Probably should have just eaten the damned kelp. But nope, my body was craving a salad. Wish I was just made of exosuit. Next, grow lights were a must have. Gotta admit, I felt pretty proud of my first full crop of lettuce. Fed half of it to Preston. That snow stalker will eat practically anything. Preston. Always spits half of it out, though. Another thing we have in common. The slobbery green mess makes good compost. Okay. Hey, this. I'm gonna guess he didn't do anything about it. Um, okay, well, good to know, good to know. Uh, the lighting and everything for plants. I mean, makes sense. Especially if, uh... No, this is her greenhouse, so it's above land. I don't know if I can get away with then just doing the glass roof because I am close to the surface for water. Um, okay, beacons. I mean, I already know about... Like, she blew up, though, but I don't know about this cave. So I'm probably... Let's see. Marguerite's base, I'll turn off for now. So many beacons now. Marguerite's greenhouse is already offline. I didn't even... I don't think I turned it off. Unless I did, then whatever. Um... Base beacon, prawn suit, alien distress, sea trucks, architectural artifacts. Yeah. So, yeah, there's not as many. Um, but we've made some ground at least. Um, don't really have too much on me. I do have some of the spirals still from earlier. I didn't drop that off, I guess. Did we go straight? No, we went direct. Yeah, hold on. We have a lot of stuff to do, but we went direct here. So, it was a little different. I'm not used to that. All right, Marguerite, thank you. I'll be um, in touch. Got your stuff all marked up on the map anyway, so if I really need to find it, then look at the rest of the island. There's some cool things that we can do now. We have salad um, that we can make with everything that's in there, but I'd rather, again, get the greenhouse set up, essentially come here, beeline it back so that everything doesn't, you know, wear and tear. But now, I can make plants in the water and then hello so I'm not gonna burn through all of our spiral plants I'm probably gonna you know you get two but I'm gonna guess that's purposeful you get two from one so go clip two plant one clip two plant one clip two plant one. Um, 
probably on purpose so that you can't I don't know if you need synthetic fibers that much but everything I needed yes I did oh I'm sorry peeper I had him so I guess we can let me see what to make then let me uh, go through it before we even get back um I want to look at the sea truck modules let's look at that we can worry about I'll deal with or making the greenhouse later that will be something that I like to just look at and kind of think except for the outdoor one yes we can do that so because we can now make benzene perfect so that's good we'll do the aquarium we'll do the module we'll do the sleeper module I'm gonna have this whole side essentially stacked um I don't need to worry about any of those I don't need blah, 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 blah. water filtration we can do that again now because we have synthetic fibers so as of right now it looks like that's everything on the side that I'm gonna be making I need more I guess I'll work on it I don't know if there's something that by the end of this episode if I haven't done that I can do already that I don't need prior knowledge like I don't like don't spoil the story don't like tell me like oh hey this is where you find this or this is where you find that I gotta find everything naturally I'm not looking up anything but if like I already have it have access to it go ahead and be like hey if you you know make the polyaniline you'll find get like a bunch of blueprints or something i'm like okay that's fine that's like i already have it and uh, i'm probably not gonna make the polyaniline i might because hydrochloric's not a pain it's salt in the uh anemone so we'll see when i get back to base i'll see you at the base okay you know it's, unless something happens in between the one thing now that i'm almost back at the base was i'm looking at the lead count and there's six lead there alone and then the two enamel glass each one takes lead so it looks like I'm going to need, what, eight lead? And then plastic steel I don't need to worry about. I haven't looked at the synthetic fibers requirement. Um, I'm going to need lead. I don't have any lead really in this base. I think maybe three or four veins. Welcome aboard, Captain. So, there we go. Aerogel, it's a chemical compound. And da, 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 Cool. So I can make, make the water filtration suit. That'll be nice. Do I make it here? Or no, I guess I make it in the fabricator. Uh, equipment, water filtration suit. Essentially, I won't constantly be getting thirsty. I mean, I will still, but it's less than I'm fine. Okay, and that I just saw it changed. Awesome. Okay. Weird, but yeah, awesome. Um, uh, yo, I'm drinking my sweet. Boom. All right, we can make a depth module mark one. Uh, you don't make it here. You make it in the fabricator because it's not an upgrade. Um. All right. Um. Go. Depth module mark one. And then I guess we don't do depth module mark two because wait. D truck. D truck. Prawn suit. Kyanite nickel ore. I'm missing one nickel ore, because again I have one right there. But I only found the one. Grappling arm, I do it here. What you need the I guess the benzene. Um Then I need to go get the fiber mesh. I need to again more lead. And we'll get actually in Oh, well, I guess I didn't mean to get in. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, Steve now, but you know, we'll do it now. It will bring us all the way over here. Ooh. Perfect. All right. Steve, let me see your upgrades. Let me give you that. Then, flame oh, to water. Awesome. And I have something else. Ah, yes, the depth module. 700 meters. There we go. I almost forgot about the depth module. I just reclaimed the water. Let me. <laughs> okay. Hey, how you little robots doing? Um, I remember when I watched Markiplier play the first of Nautica. They all have names. I don't remember their names. Dangerous weather approaching. That's great. Seek shelter. I'll get in the water at least in a second here. I've got plenty of time actually. We're all good. See. Don't make the modules all a different color for me. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Get that one out of the way. That's cool. Can you even get in it without the uh, suit in there? No. Okay. Well, let's move this a little bit out of the way. And then we're going to find out, I guess, how many modules I can put on the back of this. Uh, on the back. I'm pretty sure I can do four, but... I don't know about then the sleep module. 
because I'm sure you can link up other storage modules. Some people probably have like all storage mods. I want to have an aquarium when I'm underneath the water. You know, redundancy factor. Yes. And doesn't it grab fish while like you're, instead of me hitting it, it will grab fish and put it in the aquarium so I can eat it, which is good. All right, so let's get off this one. Bring this one here. I'm gonna put this all the way at the back, of course. Perfect. Now let me get out on the sea truck. Oh, come on. There we go. Goodness. That's awesome. See one thing different. I mean, I love the sea moth from the first Subnautica. But this is cool where you can stack things up. The first one, you know, had the uh, big sub. So I, I don't know. There's good things and bad things. It just depends on what you like the most. Um, I guess this is one thing, though. You can't get in right away unless you have the, uh, wait. I'm a fool. You can. We've got the drill now. We've got the claw. Oh, wait, I can. Can I? Whee. Okay, so at least I could hang here, regain power, and then thrust up. Perfect. Okay, so... I guess that's good. So, okay, so it just sits on the back. You still have to get out this way. Get docked to view. Ooh. Goodbye. God. <laughs> Steve. No. <laughs> Steve. Keeps going down. That's cool, though. I could drop him. If I had to run or something, I could eject him out and then. Oh, that's me. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. I like it. I like it. And now let's do the other test that I was thinking of. Was let's see if I can dock with it in the back and it doesn't but Ooh, I hit my base in the truck. Okay. All the modules, full health, except for the front one. Which just took a pretty sizable beating. Alright, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Uh Don't blow up. If you blow up, I'm gonna be so pissed. Oh my goodness, it's on the back. Oh, it works. All right. I felt bad. I was like, I, I don't feel good leaving the episode off with like something I said I was going to build but didn't build. And honestly, it took a minute for the lead. Again, I have terrible luck with getting the lead. Everything else I had was very readily available. So we'll make the uh, sleeping module at the same time. Why not? I do have them separated. Waiting for the sleeping module. I think I'm going to put it between the aquarium and the uh, attachment for, you know, the prawn suit. For me, that makes sense. I want to have one of every uh, module that we have so far. Hopefully it works. That's this whole point here is testing this now. Because that's kind of long for the sea dock. And I mean, you could float the other module out in the middle. But I don't know if I want to do that. Let's see. Did they put a limit? Okay, so we have five on there. One, two, three, four, five, and then, I mean, five width wise if you include the prawn suit on there, so that's probably why it's the same. Um, let's go look at the sleep module. I didn't get to look at it. Okay, awesome. Bum, bum, bum. All right, Fab uh, fabricator, storage, aquarium that has a fish in it. Um, so we already have food, which is great. So I'm constantly going to be essentially topped off on food and water now. Uh, Excuse me? There's no way. <laughs> ah, I get to look up at the water. It's gonna be nighttime now because I'm sleeping during the day. Good job. Reality a little bit there. Okay. Unless it is still daytime. Oh, it is daytime. Heck. Okay. Um, not a long sleep then. That's cool. I like the glass. We still have access to here. There's a jukebox. I like that song too. Um, set picture. Oh, in your screenshots. Okay, that's cool, because you can make it look nice. Oh, I like it, I like it. I mean, I thought the bed was going to lay out, but I guess that makes sense, because then you'd have to be jumping around the bed a bunch. So you just click on it, and you're all good. I like this. Oh, I like this a lot. I haven't had a sea truck, like an actual sea truck. I think at most I had a fabricator module. Oh, no, I also, I had this aquarium module. I know that, because it was one of the... New fish now? Welcome aboard. 
Yeah, I do. All right. Hello, Hoopfish. Welcome aboard. Welcome to the uh, group. Uh, I was just discussing the aquarium. So either way, well, I wanted to get the last one done, essentially, because, like I said, I, I felt kind of bad just leaving it off. I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe next time. So I think that would be the full episode. I think uh, we did the whole launch, the introduction, saw the new base, went and saw Marguerite, did the little artifact, and now we have a full bus. I think what I'm going to do now is... Uh, what is it? The depth modules, because the depth modules is where the sea truck depth module modification station. Okay, depth module two we have, depth module three and two we need nickel ore. So what I think we're gonna do is I didn't I don't remember if it's over there. So let me turn on the beacon. Um, so it's near one was it? It's near the I think it's near the stern so yeah it's somewhere over there it's to the right actually a bit but that's where um then ooh. we get another no did someone just hit the okay i guess someone just hit it um <laughs> i don't know okay either way we'll head over there and we'll see what ores are there i don't remember if nickel was if nickel's not there what we're gonna do then i guess is Take the prawn suit. Either way, we're taking the prawn suit somewhere. We're going to take the prawn suit to where the... Where the worm is, probably. And then we're also going to go look at Artifact X3J. So that's the only other two markers I really know. And that's the only marker I know. And that's the only ore spot that I know is readily available for me to just walk in and I'll be pretty safe. Because this can go level. And then I'll just drop the prawn suit and go in. So, either way... Thank you all so much for rejoining me on Subnautica. I hope this is the series that it, this I say this series that everyone wants to see, but this is also the one that's highly requested. I did ask if they wanted multiplayer or not. Dave and me are waiting for T-Bone. We're waiting to see if the multiplayer mod gets updated more. It has, but we want to make sure we can play the game instead of doing just like this, a rerun one, two, and three. Three is supposed to be our final run, essentially, on multiplayer of the base Subnautica. If there's mods, or this Subnautica Below Zero multiplayer. A little different. We'll keep them separated. I got water. Awesome. Let me drink my own bodily fluid. Um, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all next time.